In the 17th century, a German choir master decided to put a new twist on the sugar stick. He had some bent into shepherd's crooks as a special treat for his choir. And that's believed to be how the candy cane was invented. But it wasn't until more than a century later that they earned their stripes. Today, candy canes come in different stripes and sizes. They start by cooking up a big batch of sugar, water and corn syrup. Next, they prepare a mix of starch and flavouring, like peppermint or strawberry. As they blend them together, the flavouring binds to the starch. They empty the flavouring mix into the middle of the syrupy slab. Then they feed the whole thing into a machine that uses shovels and a plunger to fold the batch repeatedly. This distributes the flavouring evenly. Cold water piped into the shovels and the kneading table cools the candy cane mix so it takes on a stiffer consistency, perfect for the next step. It's over to the automated pullers. These pullers stretch the candy around a metal post. This action aerates the candy, turning it white. There's enough here to make 3,200 candy canes. But there's a lot more work to be done before this job is licked. They roll the candy into a flat log, while heaters warm it, making it pliable enough to shape. Next, they roll strips of red-coloured candy. A worker then stretches and folds the red batch to widen the strip. They arrange two of the red strips on either side of the cylindrical mould. It weighs over 45 kilograms, so it takes two workers to carry it to the next machine. It's called a batch roller. Cylinders roll the candy thinner in a process that will dramatically reduce the diameter of the log to candy cane dimensions. A torch moves across the candy to keep it pliable. Then the sugary batch travels between wheels that slim it down even more. Now it's a rope of candy and it exits in a wave-like fashion. This gives it some slack so it doesn't stretch as it moves through another set of wheels. The candy rope moves through two angled belts that twist it. And a chain of knives cuts the twisted rope to candy cane size. This production has been perfectly choreographed. One misstep, and the job would hit a snarl. Here, a roll of cellophane unwinds, and a device wraps it around the striped candy stick. Pipes blast hot air to shrink the cellophane on the ends of the canes. Once they're wrapped, these candy sticks finally get their crooks. This machine, called a crooker deck, bends the ends of the candy sticks to turn them into canes. A bracket brush overhead secures the canes gently, because although they're pliable enough to bend, they're still fragile. There's a camera inside this robotic arm, which allows it to spot the candy canes on the conveyor belt and pick them up two at a time. It places them in cardboard packages, filling them up by the dozen. It takes about half an hour to make a box of candy canes. And they're sure to come to a very sticky end in a lot less time than that. <laughs>